I'm Madison Meyer. I have a little bit of a PSA for you that may be just a little bit TMI. I got an infection after getting my nails done at a Sacramento salon on Sunday. The technician nicked my ring finger with this device. It bled a little, and then yesterday my finger became red, irritated, and it didn't look good. Turns out it's infected. My doctor says the infection more than likely came from the salon. I hesitated even bringing this up because it's such an unfortunate situation and I don't want the focus here to be on the salon I went to, but rather on what we can all do as consumers to prevent this from happening. I posted my story on my Facebook page and it had a lot of you talking, saying it's happened to you as well. well turns out it's more common than we may think. They see something, say something. Um, we have rights as consumers and we just wanna make sure that everybody knows those rights. So what are those rights? Some of you suggested on Facebook, why not bring in your own tools to a nail salon? Well, you can bring in your own tools, but according to the Department of Consumer Affairs, licensed nail salons can't use them because they can't prove those tools are sanitary. Turns out what needs to be sanitized is very specific. So if it's a metal device, then it has to be sterile and disinfected between each use. If the tools are not metal, then they must be brand new when used on you. Then after being used, they go in the trash. You can request new nail files and buffers if you feel that it has already been used. And it is law, they are supposed to use new ones and get a new one between each use. It's also very important to make sure you don't have any cuts. And if you do get a cut at the salon like I did, treat it right away. Any open wound is the cause to any infection as well. So if any of this happens to you, what can you do? Besides getting it checked out, you can file a complaint with Consumer Affairs. Every complaint is taken seriously and could lead to an investigation or inspection. In closing, we all need to remember we have rights as consumers and as clients. If you need to ask to see the tools cleaned in front of you, then ask. There's nothing wrong with doing that so that you can be safe. I know I'll be a lot more aware next time I go get my nails done. For ABC 10, I'm Madison Meyer.